The United Nations' latest report on the AIDS pandemic has highlighted Indonesia as a country of concern. New infection there rose by 48 percent, while the number of AIDS-related deaths grew by a whopping 427 percent over the past decade. Well, this is in sharp contrast to the 38 percent fall in new infections and 35 percent drop in deaths worldwide. Channel News Asia's Picheada prompted two reports. Some 35 million people across the world are living with HIV. More than half of them are not aware of their infection, just like 29-year-old Evin Tan. He didn't know he was HIV positive until five years ago, when he was helping an NGO in Singapore fight AIDS. It was during a training session, so we had to teach the volunteers how to use the test kits. Um, and I was doing role-playing. So I was, doing, I was showing them how to do it, and that was when I found out. Avin is among the estimated 4.8 million people in the Asia-Pacific region who are living with HIV. According to the latest report by the Joint United Nations Programme on HIV and AIDS, the Asia-Pacific has the second largest HIV-positive population in the world after Sub-Saharan Africa. Most of them are in India, China and Indonesia. Although new HIV infections in Asia-Pacific have declined by 6% between 2005 and 2013, the situation is still worrisome. Last year alone, around 350,000 people in the region were diagnosed with HIV. And according to the report, Indonesia is a cause for concern. Home to the largest HIV-positive population in Southeast Asia, Indonesia witnessed a 48% increase in new HIV infections over a decade. Only a handful seek anti-HIV treatment, as not only is the disease considered taboo, one of the groups most at risk of HIV, homosexuals, are often discriminated against. Some countries like India and Nepal have treated the transgender identity issue. On the other hand, we have great concerns because some countries in the region have a low coverage of treatment, have a high criminalized environment for key population. We can show now that there has been an increase in new infections. And an example of this is Indonesia. Others, including the WHO, point out that infection rates among homosexual men are increasing again partly because the infection doesn't hold as much fear to a younger generation with access to drugs that enable users to live with AIDS. There's much less fear uh, of HIV infections among the, um, among the community and the issue is not much talked about in the private and also in the media, in, in a casual setup, you know. Uh, the last is basically the sexual landscape has changed with the uh, accessing to the internet and also mobile application for people to, to hook up. With the advances in anti-HIV medication, HIV fighters like Avin are optimistic about their future. There's really no point in mopping around. Being sad and giving up, that means letting the virus win. And that does not make sense to me at all because it's a virus that can be managed and it's a condition that can be managed. And if I can manage it, then I can regain my life back. The UN report also shows that with more people getting access to medical treatment, experts hope that the AIDS epidemic can be wiped out by 2030. Pichida from Churchill, Channel News Asia, Singapore.